Uh, good morning, BYB6. How are you? I hope that you are enjoying your time. And uh, let's start our lesson today. First of all, I would like to thank uh, the people who finished the writing task for yesterday and also the people who uh, give their presentations about the passage. Also, I would like to thank the people who sent me the video about giving uh, the world an advice or a piece of advice uh, about how to be safe, okay, in the uh, big problem we live now, coronavirus. So please, all the people who didn't send me the video, please hurry up, I'm waiting, because I'm going to collect them and make one video. And uh, inshallah, of course, uh, we can put it in the uh, our school uh, Facebook uh, page, okay? So let's start. Uh, today we have a task. When you go to your um, uh, Google Classroom, you will find this uh, task waiting for you. Um, the quiz you have. And also there are many videos, okay, you can watch. Of course, you can watch uh, my video too uh, in Facebook, okay? So I'm going to uh, start um, talking about our lesson today about uh, possessive uh, nouns, okay? So when we want to talk about uh, the uh, possessive nouns, possessive nouns, Possessive nouns, as you see here, show ownership. Possessive noun or possessive comes from the same root as possession. Uh, we talked before about the possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives, and uh, we studied both. And today we are going to use the possessive nouns, okay? When we talk about singular possessives, we add S, we add S, as you see here, we add S, look at this apostrophe S, apostrophe S. Now we are talking about singular, so dogs, dogs, cooler, sisters, backpack, cars, engine, okay? If a singular word ends, in S, it is still necessary uh, to add apostrophe S. So here, Charles, look, Charles has S at the end. And we need to talk about his uh, position. So Charles is sneakers. Charles and apostrophe S. Charles is sneakers. Bess, it's also a name. And ends with S, as you see. So we need to add apostrophe S, yes. okay? Buses, dresses, okay? Buses, tires, buses, tires, okay? So let's go to the plural. Uh, uh, let's clean this uh, mark, okay? So now um, we have now some nouns which are plural they end with s they end with s so we need to add just um, apostrophe and sometimes we need to add the apostrophe and the s so let's see if you have added up an s to make a word plural for example cat cats we need to add apostrophe s will sound Ridiculous. So we can't say this properly. Okay. So we need only to add apostrophe if the noun ends with s for the plural form. For the plural form. But when we are talking about the singular form ending with s, we we add apostrophe and we add the s too. Okay. So when we are speaking about Charles, Charles ends with s. We add the S with apostrophe. We add uh, both the apostrophe and the S. But when we are talking about the plural form ending with S, we only 
we only add the apostrophe. So let's see dogs with apostrophe only. Look here, dogs here, the plural form, and we add what? Apostrophe only, no S, no more S. Sisters ends with what? With S, and we are adding only apostrophe. Cars ending with S, and we are adding only apostrophe. Okay? What about children? Children is a plural noun, but it doesn't end with S. So we add what here? We add the apostrophe and the S. Okay? Let's see some examples. Let's go to the uh, sheet we have here. Not this one. Let's see this one. First, let's clean the marks uh, on the board here. Okay. Now, as you see now, that we have uh, uh, here a picture, as you see. This picture is uh, for a boy who has a hat. So we can say the boy's hat with apostrophe and with this. But here, these are two girls, two girls. So we can say the girls, as you see now, the S and apostrophe only. Why? Because girls is a plural noun ending with S. So we add what? We add the apostrophe only. So the girls' skirts, okay? Let's see the examples here. Look here, uh, exercise number one here. This is Mary, and Mary has an umbrella. So we can say uh, the possessive uh, for hair in three forms, as you see. This is Mary's, Mary's umbrella. Look here, apostrophe S. It's hair umbrella. This umbrella is hairs. So today we are speaking about the first one only. The second one, hair, umbrella, and hairs, we talked about them before, okay? Let's go to the second exercise. We are talking about the girls, two girls, and two hats. So, how can we talk about the two girls, giving them uh, uh, a sentence about their position? Okay, let's see here. Okay, as in number one, we said this is Mary's, look, apostrophe with S, Mary's umbrella. But picture number two, these are the girls. Look here, the S for the plural noun, and only we add apostrophe. These are the girls' hats. These are the girls' hats. Okay, if we now... Look here, this is the S for the ruler, and we only add what? We only add apostrophe, no more S, okay? If, you, if we want to talk about picture number uh, uh, three here, boys, we have two boys, and we have two bicycles, and these are the, uh, the boys, the boys' bicycles. Let's see how we can write it. These are the boys. Okay, as you see again, boys has S for the plural. And we add only apostrophe. These are the boys' bicycles. Okay, let's go to another example. Here, we have <coughs> Mr. Brown. And Mr. Brown has a hat. <coughs> and also we have Rose. And Rose has a bike. We need to talk about the Mr. Brown's hat and uh, Rose's bike. So how we can say the sentence for them? This is Mr. Brown's. We add what here? We add apostrophe and S because Mr. Brown is singular now. Okay. So this is Mr. Brown's hat. Also, this is Rose's bike. 
okay again i would like to remind you with something okay as we said here if we are talking about a singular noun we add apostrophe and s also if we are talking about singular noun that ends with s we add apostrophe and s okay but if we are talking about a plural noun that ends with s we only add apostrophe okay if we are talking about a plural noun that doesn't end with s as children doesn't end with s we add apostrophe and we add s okay let's go to our task or quiz today as you see now you are going to see this quiz read the sentences below and choose the right answer okay question number one let's make it larger so you can see the question well what does your teacher think about your progress so what's your opinion now we are talking about one teacher or more than one teacher we are talking about only one teacher so what's your huh, we are going to choose the first one or the second one if we are talking about more than one teacher we are going to choose the second one teachers but in number one we are talking about what does your teacher only one teacher so we have to choose teachers teacher apostrophe s okay let's go to exercise number two our cat always sleeps on that chair it's the so we are talking about only one cat the cat we have so this chair is uh, belonging to the cat so we can say it's the uh, let's choose the first one or the second one we are talking about more than one cat or only one cat we are talking about only one cat so cats with apostrophe and s okay you have here in this quiz um more than uh, i think they are 15 questions okay so here let's see exercise number 11 or question number 11 my space birthday is next week so i'm talking about brothers only one brother or brothers more than one brother so here as you see is next week my birthday it's only one birthday so it should be brothers with apostrophe s because i'm talking about only one brother okay but let's see question number 12 our birthdays now we are talking about more than one birthday our birthdays are the same day so let's see mothers with apostrophe s or mothers with apostrophe only or s for plural and apostrophe so now as you see in this exercise we are talking about our mothers all of our mothers my mother your mother my friend's mother my uh, friend's mother all of my our mothers so we are talking about more than one mother so we are talking about the plural noun so we are talking about this the second choice mothers with s for plural and only apostrophe okay so we are talking about here uh, 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 mothers plural for so as you see now that uh, you have this exercise and as i said you have many videos please watch these videos and watch my video 
many times in Facebook so you can understand the lesson easily and you can do your exercise easily of course if you have any mistakes in the quiz in this quiz I'll make it for you to um, redo and re-correct your answers okay I hope that you are uh, enjoying your time staying home healthy and please don't forget to send me your video talking about uh, how to be safe uh, from coronavirus waiting for your questions waiting for your comments okay thank you so much uh, thanks for your effort and see you later